In this video, we are going to discuss about important interview questions for ETL testing interview. The first one would be tell about yourself. Uh, for this, explain about your overall years of experience and where you are working and what are your technical skills. So, for example, so I have eight plus experience in software testing. So currently, I am working in XX company. I have worked on ETL testing, BA testing, Informatica and other tools. I am very good in Java technology, writing codes for comparing the data between Excel to database, flat files to database and um, developed a few frameworks for ETL testing automation. That's all. The second one will be explained about your current ETL project. So in this, you have to very careful when you are explaining about it. Don't give more uh, explanations. Explain, uh, explain about how many sources are you are having, staging layer and data warehouse layer. What is the uh, uh, reporting tool you are going to use? That's all. Don't explain more details. So for example, we are moving the data from three different sources into staging from staging into uh, data warehouse from data warehouse we are using ob tool uh, where we will you create reports to pull the data from database that's all now what are your r and r in your project so our scope of testing is source to data warehouse testing source to staging and staging to data warehouse testing layer I will be uh, I'm writing the test cases and executing the test cases if there is any clarifications I will post to my answer coordinator or I will um, uh, throw it in our uh, daily regular calls I will raise defects in quality center that's all what are the test cases you will cover for source to staging this is the very important one give the uh, numbers actually it's a bullet point you throw it out the bullet points you have to very very careful um, you can watch my video previous video where I have explained about all the uh, uh, major test cases for uh, source to staging layer so complete test design for bulk load with mapping documents so here also mapping document also there so where uh, you have to understand about the uh, mapping documents, so what are the mapping documents contains and what are the fields available uh, along with um, the major test cases what we are having. So these are the uh, major cases. We have to explain about the table structure first and um, verifying the data load uh, uh, process and subsequent run with changes, without changes, hard trim functional testing, data duplicate record testing, reject table testing and the different transformations. These are the major cases as part of ETL uh, data load. So you have to explain everything. You, if you watch this video, so you are thoroughly, uh, you can explain it. So what is a surrogate key? So, yeah. It's a primary key where we won't load from the source data, source table. Instead, the primary key value will be generated automatically using sequence generator or using procedure or sequence generator that's all what is the schema type you are using in your project so either you have to say a star schema or snowflake if you say star schema you have to give the uh, you, you, there might be a question that if you say star schema there might be question there so why not uh, uh, snowflake you have to give the reason you have to understand so what is star schema and what is snowflake so what are the disadvantages and, and uh, so what are the disadvantages and, and drawbacks of each star schema and snowflake schema type so we have to understand and very well so i have to give the reason so why we have not chosen it so if you are not aware of that Stay, uh, say stay with the that we are not clear don't give the wrong false answers and what are the types of SADs as you know that is a SAD um, uh, slowly changing table uh, slowly changing dimension so it has uh, three types uh, three major types so one is a um, uh, type 1 type 2 type 3 and the type so explain about the type 1 what is the difference between type 1 type 2 and type 3 
write a SQL query to find duplicate records yes so in this case so um, we can write the uh, query uh, using group by functions or we can write the query using row number or rank so you can refer our um, uh, blog where we have given the uh, exam with the examples we have given the query with the different options and write a SQL query from different tables with the giants. So they will give two, three tables and with that, right, so they will ask three, four questions where you have to write multiple uh, giants with uh, uh, tables and you have to uh, fetch the data. So there you have to very careful that is, so you need to first, you need to identify so whether it is a mandatory field or non-mandatory field based on that is, you have to decide the uh, inner join or left outer join. The, after that, you have to write the query. Then next one would be the difference between uh, unique and tri primary key. So unique is something that is it's um, um, uh, defining the unique columns uh, where the first name, last name, and uh, date of birth. These are the three unique fields. And primary key is something about um, uh, primary uh, 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 values where it, you can't generate the uh, duplicate record. It's kind of uh, unique. The difference between uh, unique and primary key is unique. Primary key is the combination of unique as well as null. So unique key, right? So the, it will allow one one record of uh, for one record it will allow null value, but primary key can never uh, uh, allow to insert null record. That's the only difference made. And the difference between delete, truncate, and drop. So delete is for deleting the specific records where you can delete all the records or a specific record uh, using var conditions. And truncate is uh, truncating the entire data, but it will keep the uh, table structure as, as such. But drop is something so it will be uh, dropping the table uh, data on the uh, table. We can uh, delete is the only uh, command so where we can do the rollback. So we can truncate and uh, drop our um, non rollback options. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you really like it. Thank you.